So hello my beautiful loves. Today we're going to be speaking about um what I learned from my last heartbreak. And first of all, I'm going to try to be very objective, which I'm kind of I already like almost on everything I can be very objective sometimes. And uh, that can be something against me sometimes because people does not like objectivity when it goes against them now first i need to leave these things clear when we start a relationship with someone the relationship is of two people okay two people and when the relationship goes wrong we need to understand because as humans we are you know as humans we we do are egocentric and we tend to see our side and victimize ourselves and not and not really see the other uh, person version so usually on relationship is going to be two versions in this in this case maybe three versions because i have two versions of my own situation right now we are going to be speaking about the things i learned from this heartbreak what did i learn what good things did this bring me when i speak about the good things right people start to idealize like oh like the posy you know like the romantic uh, side of it or the good when i speak about the good things i'm speaking about what did i learn something that uh is part of my of my knowledge now right something i can use at my favor something that yeah can be used and what is good for you you know uh, may be different from what is good for me in my case if i can make money with it it, it, it's good <laughs> so uh that's my case right maybe for someone else it's like if i can smile when i remember it it's a good thing yeah daddy too but i'll prioritize the knowledge i can make money with the knowledge and here's the thing if you can make money with it is because you can help others that's why for me that is important you know because when you can make money with it you can help others so that's why it's so important for me um being able to to make money with it um so we're going to start i wanted to leave this clear uh that that the relationship is of two probably is two versions in this case three because i do have a two versions of the same uh relationship and that also also as a manifester we really release a lot through anger it doesn't mean i hate i never hate it but yes i do go through strong amounts of anger sometimes instead of pain so the thing is like that can that sometimes can sound as being mad as hating something or hating someone when it's not the reality we all process energy differently and like i said as a manifester which is the type of aura i have uh how my energy works um we cannot deal much with the pain and we uh, instead uh, tr transform that into anger which is great because anger is a great motor to move you uh, forward in life right and also i'm number five a pad that makes me the freaking warrior transformer <laughs> so from what i learned from this last heartbreak it, first of all this is the worst heartbreak i have ever went through you know um when we are younger and we kind of like fall in love right um i'm not going to cry i promise i'm not going to cry on this video on this video I, i'm very you know <laughs> i can get very emotional very easy but i promise i want to i don't i don't want to at least i don't want to um but you know when you're younger you you kind of like fall in love very like this and with this person you know it, it i want to cry <laughs> uh, no it it was different it was very different this person really did make me fall in love um and when you fall in love uh, it's a feeling that i don't <laughs> i don't want to cry i promise i want i promise i want <laughs>
Okay, I did really fall in love with this person, right? I did, like heavy. And uh, this person knew. I, I told him because it's not something that happened happened to me. Let's say very often, it's not something that happens to me. It's very hard for me to fall in love. It's very hard for me to trust someone. It's very hard for me to really open up to someone, right? And although maybe this person uh, may have had perceived me as close up, I promise I really was, you know, open hearted with him. Um, but you know, also, this is something we are going to speak about also perceptions, you know, uh, how we perceive things. Sometimes you can perceive it something, uh, you know, like, let's say that the falling in love, uh, you can perceive it as uh, seeing a six and the other person as seeing an eye. And that is what can cause a lot of conflicts. Sometimes different kind of perceptions, you know, you uh, tell someone you're in love and the, that someone is expecting something something totally different than how you actually show being in love. Not only being in love, but so many different things like saving money. Also, you can tell the person I'm going to save money <clears throat> and both of you can have a very different perception than what is saving money. For one can be saving $1 a week and for the other one, that's not a saving, right? So it's about the perceptions. So I'm going to start with the good things of the relationship. Uh, if I don't even know if, if it was a relationship, to be honest, but I'm going to call it like that. Like the good things of the relationship or what, mm, how we connected, right? How we both connected or at least how I connect with him. So first of all, this person moved to my area, right? And to be honest, uh, I this is very strange to explain because I didn't, I didn't notice his presence, but I didn't. And I don't even know how to explain this. What is the best example I can give you? I don't know, when you go, let's say, uh, to the mall, right? And it's like 200 people in the mall, and you notice someone, uh, like a few people in in the in in in, in all in all the people you you like, kind of like recognize ten people, but you don't put much attention because it's a lot of people around. Can be something like I don't even know if this is a good explanation. Can be something like this. The thing is like yes, I did notice, but at the same time I didn't, or at least I feel like. The thing is that on that moment, uh, I was going through a depression. I was going, I was going through through a depression. No, it was kind of like, um, yeah, kind of like starting to get out of a depression. So this person, uh, this guy, would see me through through my whole process, through the whole process of my depression. And uh, because he was living here like for around two years, uh, I think that's what he told me. Um, and this guy, yes, I did notice his presence, but I feel like I was comfortable with his presence. Even I thought like he was around like forever for a reason. I remember it going to high school with him or I thought he was one of the guys who used to go to um high school with me so for a reason i will remember him on high school but but the reality is that i never ha had uh, seen him before right but i don't know why i will remember him on high school <laughs> but i did uh I, I thought i thought he was going with me to high school and i thought he was like ar around me like forever and i don't know it, it was pretty strange now it, it was a lot of strange things with this guy um also uh like i said he saw me go uh go through my whole process of depression right he would saw me very depressed in that moment i was not putting attention i was not putting attention to anything right probably that's why i don't i never go away i never really uh uh notice him can be that uh so yeah he saw me through my whole depression process and it's very, very very curious that he started to we never talked i think it was like a year 
you know, because he lived here for two years. So it was like a year where he would saw me and that was my whole depression process. And when I started to get out and I started to, I used to start to feel good. I used to start to put attention to myself. I used to start to re reconnect with myself, to feel better, this and that. It's exactly when this guy started to try to call my attention. Now, this guy really did take his time. He really did take his time to call my attention and he never really forced anything, right? And that was probably something that catch me because I'm a person that runs re really fast. So when I start to see a bit of a, a kind of like, e -he, I run, <laughs> I run. And probably that's why he catch me. Now it was very strange because in, in that moment I was being very bitchy, especially with men. Uh, I was very like, I don't have time for love. <laughs> I, I, I need to put my whole attention to myself. I need to focus 100% on myself. I have no time for drama. I have no time for love right now. So <clears throat> any man who would approach me, I would be mean and bitchy and do faces. And uh, that's something he said that he was kind of like a bit scared of me rejecting him and that's why he, he was going so, so slow, uh, which he did great with that, to be honest, he, he, he got me. <laughs> um, so, but there was something different about him, you know? Uh, probably uh, his aura, his energy, uh, all that, he's very different uh, when we speak about going to spirituality, aura's energy. So, uh, you know, we started to have like a friendship. I'm going to do more more parts of this video, you know, because I have I have like like I said, the two versions of it is the emo also I have like the emotional speaking, the mental speaking, the 3D reality speaking about this. I have also what I learned uh, getting in deep with that. So, I have a lot of subjects. I I, I did learn a lot from this. A lot. You have no idea how much did I learn from this although what is still very painful because I'm still going to, through that pain I'm still crying just last, last night I was crying so you know I still cry about it I still feel bad and uh, I'm not going to cry <laughs> in this video I, I don't want to talk about that but I still cry about it so um yeah that <laughs> and uh, yeah <laughs> So yeah, we did start a friendship and he was very different when speaking about, about Aura's energy, all that. Actually, uh, his Aura is uh, purple, which is not so common, <laughs> not so common. And he have like also very strange personality, INFJ, and also he have like, uh, I think he's a reflector kind of uh energy type right and he's very strange he's just like myself you know also i'm intp which is very strange in personality uh my aura is a uh, reddish golden goes through through red and golden red and golden it move on those two his aura moves between purple and green his aura and also um i'm a manifester right and also it's a very strange um type of energy so we both are very strange kind of a people once in, in, in one in a lifetime <laughs> but also he did had certain conditions let's call it like that uh mental conditions uh, I, I guess i don't uh, i'm not going to speak about that but he does you know so those things would be something that i would use i would use to justify a lot of things that he would do. But you know, that, that we're wrong and he would do it. Uh, and I would just justify that or I'll excuse uh, his uh, uh, bad attitudes or the things that would do damage to me because bad is just like a, a title. There is no good or bad. Everything is neutral. Is how you perceive things. So from my own point of view, from my own truth, you know, I'll perceive certain things that I didn't like it and I'll uh, excuse with those things uh, what he was doing to me. 
So, for example, also we have a very uh, kind of like a special relationship. Connection, I will call it. We have a number 11 on number, uh, uh, secret numerology. We have a number 11 type of connection, which means here is a thing. And I want to leave this clear. This means when you find when you have a connection, number 11 with someone that is people that enter your life to move you towards your real path right but also this is people that is going to show you straight forward like everything you like in a person but also is is going to show you everything you don't like in a person right so when an 11 enters your life is like they sometimes show you what you do not want in your life so in my case he showed me a lot of things i don't want in my life and to be very honest he did show me a lot of things I want in a relationship, but also a lot of things I don't want. And like I said, to be honest, I'm hundred and one percent sure I also show him a lot of things he do not want in a relationship and a lot of things he does want in a relationship, right? Because that's we both make an 11 it's not only me who feels the 11 but also he is he is feeling the number 11 uh, type of connection right so this is both ways just as he showed me a lot of things i don't like i probably or 101 percent sure i show him a lot of things he do not want in our relationship right just as i show him a lot of things he want in a relationship and also he did that to me so this go both this goes both ways okay it's not only me who was like probably going through a pain and like i said just like i went through a lot of pain i'm 101 percent sure he also went through a lot of pain with me because like i said the number 11 we make it both so it's both ways and also i'm 100 percent sure that just as I am in love with him, he may be, go away, <laughs> he may be in love with me, well, uh, <laughs> so um, that. <laughs> that, that, that was kind of like a little insect fly thingy that just distracted me 100%, now I forget what I was talking about, like, like this, yes, I, I'm like that, um, so yeah, right, like having that in consideration, or, you know, just i'm going to let you know i have a, a, a highest level of empathy i'm so empath so so empath that that the people who have have made me go through through the highest pains in my whole entire life i have been able to forgive forgive that forgive is the right word yeah forgive it forgive all the pain they did to me and still see the good on that people and still still be able to see the potential on that people um so just have that on consideration i have a very high le levels of empathy very high levels of empathy uh people who have done like horrible things to me i'm still able to uh, forgive to be and still give empathy to that people right so i have a very high levels of empathy that not everyone does have so keep that on mind not everyone thinks like, like i do and most people uh would not do what i what, what i do because i do have high levels of empathy okay so what did i learn with this connection with this relationship first of all i really feel like this was a universe test pretty much it feels like it and it was a test of not going all the way to one side you know like when when and let me explain you when most of us when we start um when we start spirituality we start to go all the way spiritual and forget about the 3d the 3d world forget about everything related with the 3d and we focus mostly spiritual and we started to want to see everything spiritual and everything 5d right but we have to have on consideration yes we do our spirit but also we have a 3d uh, world uh, body or spirit it needs our body to live 
So in this relationship, in this connection, I did learn a lot, a lot, a lot. I have a lot to say. That's why I, I'm going to do so many videos about it. And remember, I told you I have two versions. I have a very uh, more kind of like a positive version and more kind of like a negative version. So on my negative version, this guy scammed me. <laughs> That's my negative version. It really felt like it that this guy just scam me. Even that he have a purple aura, even that he have whatever you, you want to have like on a spirituality, this on that, this guy is scamming and, and that is like he scam me romantically. And that is my negative version. And then the most positive version is also not so positive, let's call it, because uh, he was going through a bad moment in his life, a very bad moment, and that's something I did learn. So the very first thing I would tell you is that when you start a relationship with someone, make sure that this someone, this person, already have at least six months of no relationship with no one. Make sure of that because that can be a heavy problem right uh this guy okay and here's where the scam enters this guy told me okay this guy was living with the mother of his kids still when we were connecting right when he started to approach me uh, first as friends because i uh make those steps but if i would allow him he would jump like right away to sex right he would not take steps with me um, but because in a way, I feel like I make him take the steps, he had to take the steps with me. So we started with a friendship. But if it, if it were for him, he would jump straight forward. He would jump straight forward to sex. And the thing is that he told me when we started connecting and we started the friendship, he told me that, you know, he was still living with the mother of his kids, but that they were separated. This is where the scam enters. Because now that I'm outside of the picture and I have had enough time to analyze the whole situation, right? I really, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure of this, but I'm pretty sure they were still together. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And this is where, where the scams enter, you know, because he lied to me in, in, in that aspect, in that area. Although I'm not a hundred percent sure, it, you know, everything points towards that and you know like i said he got me in the best moment for him to take advantage of me and the worst moment for myself because uh, i in that moment i was or it was very easy to take advantage of me right because i was just getting out of depression i was just starting to feel better this and that i i was i was very vulnerable on that moment not only that but i was working on my feminine energy i was working on trusting i was working on a lot of spiritual stuff and when i connected with him i went all the way spiritual and i feel like this was a test from universe like letting me know never go all the way to one side you need to balance right i, I think this this wa was one of the things i did learn from this connection which is don't go all the way spiritual but the balance because yes you do our spirit but also you have a physical body okay so we need to understand that our physical body have a chemics that sometimes can play against us when another person when another person is manipulative or narcissistic or egocentric or this or that right now like i said this guy had a very had a purple uh purple aura and he moved from purple to green green to purple which really connects with the third eye purple and green with the heart chak uh, chakra uh, so the thing with him is that he is very unbalanced let's call it or very not healthy or not on the best uh energy so purple on 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 the bad side will be people that and, and he did the had it is is people that can be manipulative is people that can be um egocentric is people that can have a lot of of, of traits of, of this type right so 
So also green chakra on the worst side is when emotions play against you. <laughs> and I don't know, but it feels like his emotions would play against him a lot. Um, he was a person who had, uh, it, I'm not sure about this, but this is what I was perceiving. He had a lot of struggle, a lot of conflict confronting problems, right? He would just try to uh, go around all of the problems instead of solving the problems. While I have a very, I have a gold aura and I move from gold to red, gold to red, which red really speaks about confronting things, you know, and this combination was not so good because he was like avoiding conflicts while I was trying to resolve, confront the conflict and I feel like this really played against the connection <laughs> um, because for me it would have felt like he had not interest you know I would perceive that as he have not interest if we do not and I think I, I told him this if we do not solve the freaking problem the problem is going to stay there we need to confront it now I don't know why or what is the real reason he didn't want it to confront the, the problems another on my negative version is that he was not interested enough on me and he just didn't want to to you know to invest on that you know so if uh, this is my other version so either it was because uh, his emotions would play against him and he was kind of like avoiding it or he was uh, scamming me and he was not interested enough and he was just like not wanting to invest on that so i don't know which one is it but anyways, it, it it was that was a problem for me. Like not confronting the problem, not solving the problems. It was a problem for me. Like not solving problems become a problem. <laughs> uh, uh, curious. So that right. So that's why I'm telling you. Like when we start the spirituality, we you know, and this, I feel like this is this is something because I do tarot readings. That's why I'm talking about this. And a lot of people that come to tarot readings is just starting a spiritual path. Pad. and we when we start the spiritual pad we tend to go all the way spiritual and forget about the physical body right that our physical body have a chemics woman body have different chemics than men body we have different reactions different uh perceptions and also go away and and also so woman body have a different chemics than men body, right? Also understanding that and we are not only spirit, we also are humans. And understanding that we cannot go all the way spiritual because we are, we are 50-50. We are spirit, but also we have a physical body with chemics, this and that, that, that like I said, having chemics can be played against us. It's very curious that after a few months, not for, no, yeah, like was what, like one month and a half? of the ending i'm going to speak about how this ended i'm going to speak a lot about this but after ending this connection or this connection exploded in a way uh like a month and a half or so it's very curious how universe works but on my youtube feed i get the recommendation of a video of a guy now this guy make these videos showing you teaching you uh, this guy would would teach you how to use like the the narcissistic toxic guys manipulative techniques right now I would never really do this uh, intentionally you know sometimes we have traits like this that we do subconscious but what he teaches I would never do it uh, uh, consciously or in uh, at purpose to to create these kind of like uh, obsessions uh, towards me I would not, never do it with that intention but maybe I do have certain traits of of, of, uh, of that but I don't know I do not recognize them on myself someone should have it to tell me because I don't know but this guy speaks about the techniques and the you know the the uh, yeah techniques that narcissistic and toxic people uses to make you get obsessed with them 
So I'm going to leave the link to the channel of that guy or to one of his videos on, on, on the description box if you're interested on seeing that. Uh, but he teaches you how to use those techniques. How, you know, what techniques those uh, men uses to make you obsessed with them? Players, uh, scammers, uh, uh, narcissistic, all these, and this guy studies psychology. Also, he let you know what chemics on your brain are, are being played, how, and why it make you obsessed with someone. Now, when I watched this, when I watched this guy video, I was like, I watched like three videos on a road. At the end of the third one, I was like, okay, <laughs> uh, this guy I was dating was doing absolutely everything this guy was speaking about everything in the same order in the same way and this just helped me understand why although i was seeing toxic traits on him it was very hard for me to let him go and also after he used uh because he just disappears from a life uh this is something uh, something else i did learn right uh, also i did learn manipulative toxic uh men players uh men techniques to make women upset so if someone uses that against me again i will recognize it right away so i learned that but also you know this guy i was dating was using all of them all of them in the same order in the same way and I don't know if this guy, this guy I was dating, it follows this guy because it seemed like it. And anyways, he uh, he was very straightforward with that, and and he did recognize this on me too. Uh, he he told me that he was controlling, like he was controlling, or he is controlling, and he and he was like, you are controlling too, which I am. I am very. I need control of things. I, I need control of things in order for me to feel safe. If things get out of control, I start to kind of like panic a lot. And he said that I used the same. Uh, technique he you said which is like when things don't go your own way you start to call uh, the attention of the other person with kind of like manipulative things which i never did recognize on myself until he to he told me and i was like well probably yeah 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 could be it's very possible that i do that um but you know he he did say to me that he was manipulative just as i am <laughs> um uh when the connection ended when he disappears from my life <clears throat> uh it was very when we go like, like i said i have the two versions and i try to re, uh, you know keep mentioning this because i do have the two versions of everything that happened between us which is the very negative side and the not so negative side the not so negative side goes more to spirituality and the extreme negative side which is like this romantic scam thingy goes to physical uh, world that's why i feel like one of the biggest lessons i did learn is don't go all the way spiritual but also do not go all the way physical you know it's 50 50 you need to keep a balance there so i feel like the because all the time in my head i was going through such a big struggle because having two sides on my head you know and second guessing the reasons why he is doing this is because of this or because of this you know um and that just break my peace you know my inner peace was destroyed during this whole relationship my inner peace was destroyed my mental peace was destroyed and my emotional peace was destroyed uh speaking more on on the physical realm this really traumatized me <laughs> this connection really traumatized me in a way i was like wanting to work my trust and i feel like i ended up with worst trust issues maybe not but also this show me how much i can trust like the, the the levels of trust i have because like i said it's all about the perception and i have noticed that i have very different perception of myself than people does have uh, from myself and i would usually would think 
that I'm struggling with something when actually I'm not. And I thought that I needed to work my trust issues. But with this guy, I, you know, uh, I example myself the levels of trust I do have. And I, to be honest, I'm amazed with myself. Like, I'm very amazed with myself, like how much I can trust in the worst situations. So that's something I learned about myself, that I have strong levels of trust. And that if I, uh, I uh, put the purpose on myself, I can freaking like, I have a very high levels of trust. So I learned that. So another thing I did learn it is to never ever obligate myself to trust someone. Okay, when I was uh, having a connection relationship with this guy, uh, happened a lot of things and like I said I'm going to speak about that in another video but it happened a lot of things uh, that you know I was like don't trust don't trust don't trust inside of me don't trust and in that moment I thought that those were conditioning thoughts conditioning feelings right like conditioning myself to not heal my trust issues so I would obligate myself to trust on him when actually I think it was my, my guts, my, my nervous system telling me, don't trust him, don't trust him, like don't trust him and not really a conditioning that. So something I did felt on this uh, connection, this relationship with this guy is that it was very hard to speak with him. It was it was hard to express i don't know what i feel like he's uh you know he his throat chakra is very blocked or he was i don't know but it was hard at least for myself i don't know if he had this same struggle but for myself it was very hard to speak with him openly maybe because you know i was perceiving or feeling from him Kind of like a fake mask now the thing is that and i told him this i would i was connecting with his spirit with his higher self you know the the, the healthy version of him the, the his spirit his soul i was connecting with it but him as a person on this 3d world was not a trusty and I did tell him this, that I, I, you know, like I, I trusted his soul and I felt the connection with his soul, with his higher self, but not with, with the person on the, on the 3D world. Um, and, you know, I feel like he is very asleep still. I feel like he is a person that really wants to awaken, really wants to evolve uh, a, as a human, as a soul but he's on the process of it and it really feels like he's very asleep still he does a lot of uh, things conditioning things still i may not be the most awakened person in this world because i'm not uh but i would notice on him uh, doing a lot of conditioning stuff that I would use quiet myself and not tell him, which I think that was a mistake on myself and I should uh, explain him. And I feel like I should tell him what he was doing, doing wrong or what, what he could do to, you know, awaken faster or to evolve faster or to uncondition himself from, from the 3D reality. But I never did. Like I said, it was very hard to speak with him. And also, not only, uh, it was also because he would not confront the truth. So I was feeling at that moment that whatever I would say to him, he would use like avoid it. So it felt like a waste of time and waste of uh, voice, right? So I would just not say anything. And I was like, he's going to have to confront it uh, sooner or later if he actually wants to evolve and awaken. Um, so I never really told him anything uh, about the conditioning things he was doing that uh, keep him um, in a conditioning world. world. But anyways, this is a very long video already and I feel like I haven't speak about anything, like nothing. I haven't speak about nothing about it. Um, let me know if you like this kind of conversations. Uh, here is the thing, I'm, I'm out of place, you know, I, I'm, 
over the place so i hope you really can stick with me understand what i'm talking about uh what do i mean and i really hope in a way this can be helpful for someone it's going like i said it's going to be way more videos uh, speaking about this so you can learn with me from my own mistakes I have made I'm, I'm going to also speak about what I feel I did wrong on this connection and also I'm going to go to the more 3d reality what was going on uh, so I'm going to explain all that and uh, what I learned and also I'm going to do a video speaking about how to actually go through a hard break in the correct way because also I made a mistake on that and also I'm going to explain you like I said the both sides this is pretty much an introduction I don't even know what is this video about like an introduction of it um, I, I did speak a little bit about what did I learn and I mean I, at least the biggest lesson I learned which is never go all the way one side you know we are spirit but also we are physical bodies so we need to go 50 50 uh if you're interested on the guy i told you that he speaks about um how to use techniques of manipulative people to make them obsessed with you uh, is going to be on the description box uh, a link of one of his videos or to his channel it depends but you know don't you said to manipulate people you see you said to learn when someone wants to use it with you you, you said that way that that's at least how i received the information of that guy so yes my beautiful loves i hope this was entertaining this was a uh, kind of a helpful and that you spend a nice time with me here gossiping about my own personal life <laughs> i mean you know <clears throat> the the whole purpose of this is putting the example you know uh giving the example of what i went through what did i learn how i experienced it how it happened so i can be an example for you and you can learn from me instead of leaving it yourself so i can avoid you this kind of pain and this kind of hard situations and also uh, avoid avoid you going through through such a pain because this connection it still is very painful for me it still is very painful um so yeah my idea is to to help you so so that's my whole purpose to help to help people to help you know learn from life with me maybe it, it would be that the name learn with me about experiences of life you know life happens <laughs> i don't know but i really hope this was helpful that you like it at least i entertain you and well like always this is a bye be good and if you're going to be bad invite me bye bye <laughs>